top. I can go back and search for CI149 again. And remember, I want to click on all. Or maybe I want to look up a different topic. Like maybe I want to know about the Common Core. So I'm going to do pound CCSS for the Common Core. And I'm going to search for people who are tweeting about the Common Core. And so as I go through here and I can see what people are tweeting about the Common Core, if there's somebody that I want to follow, like at Innovative EDU, Lisa Nielsen, I can click on her name and choose Follow. Close out. Now maybe I want to reply to her, like, what did she say? Looking for folks behind free online social media tools to share how to support their products. So maybe I want to help Lisa. I mean, I am part of a network. I want to help Lisa to find people behind free online social media tools. So when I hover over her tweet, I notice I have the option to retweet. So I am publishing her tweet to my followers. So that's a really nice thing to do is to retweet what other people are doing. So here, 10 useful common core resources for elementary teachers. Well, you know, we're secondary, but we could still might want to retweet that. And if these are really useful Common Core resources, maybe I want to favorite. And so that's going to save it for me, so it will save the tweet. You can also go to More and get an embed code for the tweet if you want it. Usually don't do that. All right, trying to see if somebody's tweeting something I can reply to. Hi. Um, five ways to get student to listen. So I'm going to reply to this. I suppose yelling at students is not a great technique. And then I'm going to put the pound CCSS hashtag back on it because I am talking, we we're doing, I was looking up Common Core. I'm going to go ahead and tweet. Now, there's lots of great hashtags that you can follow. So if you see someone um, with a hashtag, you'll notice this one's person is tweeting pound teaching. I can actually click on that hashtag, and I can see what other people are tweeting about teaching using who are using that hashtag. And I can also search, like, SS chat is social science chat. So I can be able to search for hashtags and see what people are tweeting about in terms of social science. Or pound math chat. I can see what people are tweeting about math. And this is a great way to find educators in your field. So how do I find all these great hashtags? Well, one is I can see people tweeting and using them. And then I can, like, ENG chat, English chat. So I can just click on it, or I can type it into the search at the top. Or I can type in Twitter hash tags for educators into a search and Cyberman has a great list of hashtags that you might want to check out as an educator. So I see here SciChat, that's probably science teachers. So I'll come back here and I'll do pound SciChat so I can see what science teachers are chatting about. And I want to jump in on the conversation. I want to reply and retweet. I'm going to go ahead and copy this URL, and I'm going to tweet by going back to the home. And I can see here's where I can compose a new tweet. Here is a list of hashtags for educators. Boom, pound, edchat. Edchat's a great hashtag to uh, look at and participate in. And then I go ahead and click tweet. So that should be some things to get you started. Good luck.